Hey everyone, so this video is going to be on my nude lipsticks. This is one of my most requested videos um, just to talk about how I choose nude lipsticks and what I class as nude lipsticks and how I wear them, what I pair them with. So I did do a video like two years ago on a couple of my nude lipsticks and I think I've accumulated a bit more since then. I have five drugstore lipsticks and five high-end lipsticks, so just matte lipsticks. If you do have suggestions of ones to try, I'll definitely leave it in the comment section. So first of all, what do we class as nude lipsticks? Nude is basically your flesh tone, skin tone colour. It can be what your natural lip colour looks like. You can have nude lipsticks to match your natural skin, um, natural lip colour without makeup on and when you have makeup on. So it doesn't have to be, like for dark skin women, it doesn't have to be browns. You can have like something I'm wearing right now which is more on the nude pink side, but you can have a mixture of shades. You can have beige, nude, mauve colours. It doesn't have to be a brown shade. I tend to match my nudes to when I have makeup on. So something that's gonna match my face once I apply my foundation and everything. My definition of nude might not be your definition of nude because I go by my natural lip colour. And if you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I have quite um, pigmented lips. So my lip colour tends, is a little, you know, a little darker, especially my top lip. So um, yeah, some, darker skin women have that. Some people have, some darker skin women have pink lips. So it really depends on your lip colour. So something that might appear nude on me might appear pink on you. So I don't know, it's, it's something you'd have to try out and test out yourself. So I can, I, can, I can always recommend something for you, but you really have to check it out yourself and test it out and see if it's something that suits you. I get a lot of questions about, oh, I am an NW something, what will be a nude lipstick for me? Most of the time I can reply with suggestions, but sometimes, like I said, you might be, we might both be an NW46, but have different lip colours, as a natural, our natural lip colour might be different. So, you know, it's something, like I said, it's worth trying out for yourself and testing out. Places like high-end stores, they, you can swatch, and you can also test out the colours on your lips. So before you leave the store, you definitely know what you're going for. But sometimes, especially in MAC, um, I have um, tried on a few lipsticks there and gone home and it doesn't look anything like it did in the store. But a lot of times I try and swatch on my the back of my hand and the back of my hand isn't the same shade as my face so um, isn't the same shade as my face or my lips so it really doesn't always go but I this is the only way that I would test out a lip colour because I don't like trying on lipsticks in stores because it's just a bit long. I just watch other YouTubers and see people who have similar a similar skin tone to me and see oh that might work for me and I go try it out and most of the time, 98% of the time, it works. And when it comes to wearing nude lipsticks, you can actually get away with a lot of shades, even the, the lighter nudes. As long as you have a lip pencil, do not wear nude lipsticks especially the beige coloured ones if you don't have a lip pencil. I'm actually begging you. I think this is what scares a lot of people. They would, um, they see someone wearing a, a nude lipstick, wearing it the wrong way, and, and they think, oh, that's not gonna work for me. And it's only because you haven't used a lip pencil or lip liner. So when you're wearing nudes, especially if you want to wear the lighter nudes and not brown, I would definitely recommend a brown lip pencil. Any shade of brown would go, it would honestly makes a difference to any lipstick because it can definitely turn a milky looking crack head looking or you've been eating a donut to just something a lot more you know cute so just use it to line the outer corners of your lips and this just contains the color and obviously darker skin women tend to have bigger lips so if you're wearing nude lipstick something that's really light it definitely uh, would accentuate and enlarge your lips even more so you definitely have to use a lip pencil don't shy away from nude lipstick but i'm not saying every nude lipstick works for you sometimes depending on how deep your shade is some might not just be recommended for you at all i'm just going to show you the lip pencils that i would use for my you know, nude lipsticks my nude lipsticks range from like i said from different shades so i have different colors to suit that shade 
So the first one is Max Cork. This is my mostly used um, brown lip pencil and this works for pretty much most of my new lipsticks. So I have a darker brown which is Chestnut, also by MAC. And as you can see this is a much deeper brown. Now for the drugstore one I have L'Oreal's Color Parfait and this is in the shade Cappuccino. And this will be for more of my lighter nudes. So another one, if you can't find that one by L'Oreal, is the Rimmel lip pencil, also called Cappuccino. And it's pretty similar to the L'Oreal shade, just, a, just slightly darker. And then I have another one by NYX, and this is in the shade Nude Truffle. And then there's also Nutmeg, which is more for the really ready, sort of like the ready brown nudes. Now I'm going to show you my lipsticks. So I'm going to start off with the drugstore ones. First one is pretty much should be well known and this is Revlon's Mink. This is a really, really gorgeous brown. And I'm going to put the actual description in the video somewhere because I'm not very good at describing. And for this one, I can actually get away with not wearing a lip pencil. Normally as well, I would fill in my lips and then apply the lipstick, but I can just put this over my, you know, my natural lip and then just apply Max Cork lip pencil. So for every lipstick, I will put in a description box what I pair them with. So just to let you know, in case you have this lipstick or you want to get it and you don't know how to wear it. Some people as well, depending on your lip color, your natural lip color can get away with not using any sort of liner to fill in their lips first. But for me, as soon as my lips are pigmented, especially for the lighter nudes, I do have to fill in my lips first. The next one I have is NYX. And this is their round lipsticks, and this is in the shade Hermes, or Hermes. This is more of a lighter nude, but it's absolutely gorgeous shade on as well. But this one as well, I can actually not use a lip pencil to fill in my lips, but I will line my lip line with MAC Cork lip pencil again. Then we have Wet n Wild's 902C, and this is a matte lipstick. Also a light nude, absolutely gorgeous as well. I'm going to list the videos where I'm wearing these lipsticks, so I won't be able to try it on for you for this video, but I think I have used most of these lipsticks in videos, so I'll definitely put the links in the description box for you. The next one is Rimmel Kate Lipstick in the shade 03. Also a really nice colour. It has more of a pinky tone to it. And then I have the last one which is from Maybelline called Luminous Beige. And so now I'm going to show you my matte lipsticks. I also have five to show you. So the first one, if you've been watching me, you know that I've mentioned this lipstick so many times and it has to be Max Viva Glam 2. And it looks like this. This is a satin finish absolutely gorgeous shade it's more leaning towards the nude pink side when i have my you know full face done and have this i'm literally my lips are muted out when i apply this and the lip pencil i use for this um is either nude truffle or sometimes the cappuccino lip pencil so depending on how the shade of nude I want to go for, I would either pick one of these two lip pencils, more likely the nude truffle one. The next one is Velvet Teddy. I also really like this one as well. It's actually what I know that's not what I have on today. I have Max Faux on today. So another really nice nude lipstick. If I don't want to change the colour of the lipstick, sometimes I would mute up my lips with um, my powder, so I would literally just apply the lipstick straight on and obviously line the outer corner with probably Max Cork as well because it's more on the lighter on the lighter side. If I want to have my lips a bit more defined, um, to have the nude stand out more, I would use chestnut but very, very sparingly because chestnut is very brown, it's a really dark brown. The next one I have, which is I bought recently, which is more on the browner side, 
is Max Touch and Touch is a luster finish which means this does not last very long on my lips it kind of wears off after a while so I do have to reapply but if you want something that's going to look more like a natural lip colour I would go for Touch. The next one I have is Max Cherish as you can see this is one of my mostly used lipsticks. I hardly reach for this actually now but this is a satin finish as well and this is more on the beigey beige nude side. Then we have the first ever MAC lipstick I bought. This is Hug Me and it's kind of horrible now, it's melted so it's also really nice nude. It's also a luster finish so it wouldn't really last long, I do have to reapply. But this is definitely a really nice go-to lip colour and with this one I would pair with NYX's natural lip pencil because this is more closer to the you know pink side so I would pair with NYX natural and honestly it works very well. I also have a couple of lip glosses that I would pair with these lipsticks if I want to go for a you know glossy look. The first one I don't have any more which is by MAC and that is Boy Bait and that goes really well with the MAC Biogam 2 lipstick. This one by e.l.f and this is the e.l.f Glossy Gloss and this is in the shade Muted Mauve and I really use this, this is more on the brown side, I use this a lot for my nude lipsticks, very very gorgeous colour. Oh, we have this one by NYX and this is in the shade Tanned and this will go really well for even my peachy nudes or my beige, like beige nude shades. But this is called Revealing, also would go really well for the beige brown shades. So those are my nude lipsticks, I will list everything I've mentioned in the description box. So always remember to line your lips when you use nude lipstick because it would definitely move it from looking ratchet, donuty, crack heady to looking a lot more, a lot nicer and wearable. A lot of lipsticks are wearable, especially the lighter ones, as long as you use a brown lip pencil. Also check out MAC Jubilee, that's another good one. I didn't count Freckle Tone as a nude because I feel it's more on the peachy side. But you can also try out Freckle Tone as well. I did try Fresh Brew. Fresh Brew comes off grey on my lips. So Fresh Brew is not my go-to lipstick for me anyway. I just, it, I can't find the flatteringness to that lipstick. It just doesn't suit me. But a lot of people do use that and a lot of people love that lipstick but I've just never ever loved it. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.